Hey there, welcome back. Hopefully my camera's not picking up on the large pimple that has formed on my eyelid. On my eyelid. Is that still considered a sty when it's like on your upper eyelid? I'm not sure if it is, but it hurts and I need it to go away. I don't know, this is not the video though, I'm talking about pimples. What is the video? And it's probably gonna be more than just one day long, so when you see outfit changes, just know um, stuff takes me longer because I do have a baby and he does not like it when I'm not around. And although I do have areas in the room I can put him, he prefers to be held. So, you know, we're just gonna have to work around that. We're doing his nursery though, finally. He is gonna be four months next week and at the six month mark is when he needs to start sleeping in here, preferably. Because right now he's still next to me in um, our bedroom. So we are going to put his crib together. What you don't see, which I will show you is that, uh, you know, Max, the naughty orange kitty who isn't, oh, there he is. Uh, this boy has eaten through his mattress. So that's cool. I don't know if I can somehow like fix this. I haven't even opened this yet to know like quite the damage, but if it's just on the one side, I'm wondering if I can just I think this is the top anyways. Um, use that, you are the naughtiest cat. He did that when the counters were being installed and I had both of them locked in here and clearly he did not appreciate it. But anyways, this is what we're putting together today. Prepare for the montage. These little songs make me glad to call you mine And you have got my head in the clouds One, two, three All that I need is your body next to me On rainy days, just need your company Don't need too much, just your simple love and accept Of hearing your voice every morning I wake to a kiss on my face So oh, I don't need too much Just your simple love and it's Beautiful. I am very, very, very happy. It was actually pretty easy to put together. Everything was um, laid out and the screws went in nicely. It's by Delta Children, not sponsored by any means. They don't even know me, obviously. <laughs> and I highly, highly recommend them. I'm very happy with this. And if you can tell, it matches the dresser right there. So. Oh my goodness. See, this is, he's the issue here. That is the issue, that boy. Okay, um, I'm going to probably take a break and then I'm gonna tackle the wall next. Yay, and this is the problem. On rainy days, just need your company. Don't need too much, just your simple love and it's everything. The simple joy. Of hearing your voice every morning I wake to a kiss on my face So I don't need so much Just your simple love Oh hey, welcome back <laughs> Instead of, you know, transitioning Literally from when he was four months To when he's now six, almost seven months I uh, wanted to pop in real quick And just, you know chat for a second and then I have the room reveal because guess what he's six and three quarters months I don't even know how many weeks that is but that means he's sleeping in his big boy crib now so the room had to be done but 
I love it. It's adorable. Do you love your room? He's starting to sleep more. Say, it's my favorite. If he's not in his room, he's out here. And he's <laughs> right here. He loves this thing. This is probably our number one right now that he is just like thriving with. This is um, Love Every Playmat, if any of you have never heard of it. It's amazing. We actually had a different playmat before this. It was like gray and it had a, like a plushy little things like this. Max broke it. So it no longer had the capability of having things dangle down, which he just loves grabbing onto. And this is actually what he learned to roll over on. So I'm obviously like kind of attached to it now. Uh, but yeah, he loves sitting underneath of it and just like playing. It has different zones on it. Um, his favorite is the mirror one. It has little cards that you can flip in and out. And I just have it set to a mirror and then some black and white cards, but like it's interchangeable so you can do different ones on it. Um, and then he also is obsessed with bringing this guy right here. So I'll actually just a lot of times just bring it down to him because on these you can take stuff off, which is kind of nice because I don't know if any of you guys know if you had a baby before, things can be overstimulating and even for mama <laughs> i like this mat because it doesn't have any like uh light up like big noises where he, if like a cat touches it or he touches it, it doesn't mean to it's just like sirens going off um no that stuff drives me crazy this is <laughs> the what would you like the cadillac uh play mats no the mercedes whatever the nicest car brand is this is the nicest play mat i've literally ever seen in my life um if you are like in the process of having baby and doing a registry or you want a really a big christmas gift from someone uh 10 out of 10 recommend this mat and the cool thing is it comes with a little tin so even when he's done in his baby stage he's still gonna use it um, and Max uses it. So even when he's done using it, my cat will never not use it. I will insert maybe a video of him playing with it. He's kind of ridiculous. He loves it so much. My favorite thing though, because this is a big, this isn't even a gift guide video. I don't know why I'm doing gift guides, but I'm going to do it anyways. Um, if you don't feel comfortable asking someone for like a really large gift, or maybe you don't have the funds at the moment for something like that, uh, my absolute favorite thing from them are their, their, their subscription, their toy subscription, because I literally only have, I think like two things for him. And I was stay at home mom this year. So I'm like fully in charge of his development and like his brain. <laughs> so I cannot stress you. So the subscription they send you every couple of months, depending on their age range, um, a box of toys you keep it uh, and it gives you a booklet of how to use them so right now i think it came with like five or so toys um i've been, only been introducing a couple at a time it tells you kind of the progression of like when to start what toy between those like this is the five to six month box i have because he's obsessed with these little socks and the socks just like jingle but they're supposed to teach you or him about where his feet are and noises and being able to be in control of making the noise. So we like to do Christmas carols with his feet right now. And then um, I've introduced, so I've only introduced two things of it so far, this little tissue box, which I'm biased because it's my favorite. It's just, it's supposed to teach them things like going um, in, in and out and then being able to pull it and then the colors and textures like I said, the books will give you a guide of how to like teach it to him. So like he's usually pretty good at being able to pull it out. I think, and I don't want to say he's a pro yet, but he understands that, oh, there's going to be, when I pull this out, more tissues that come out with it. And they're fabric. So like you could wash them if for some reason they get really dingy from their little grubby hands, especially now because you're starting solids and you're getting stuff all over you. That's a whole different video, baby weaning, starting solids. We have not ventured too far out yet. 
Anywho, that was um, a long little segment here. Uh, if you are interested in any of these, especially because Christmas is coming up, I will have them linked below. I do have an affiliate link. Do, you don't, like, literally don't have to use it. I just 100%. 99% I'm sure you are going to love this so just check it out whether you use the link or don't use the link I promise this is like a quality product but like affordability wise if you want to ask for just like a small gift from someone uh, I do think that the like subscription even if they just do like a one-off box you will enjoy these I do they've kind of saved my like Mom, not like mom guilt but like the idea that maybe I'm not doing enough I feel good about what we do every day now <laughs> okay let's do the room tour let's do a room tour let's move you into the other room okay quick tour because as you can tell it's not a huge room no not a huge room <gasps> right to your right when you walk in the door we have his little changing area we it's not, like, if you want an organization video, I still need to organize everything, so maybe that can be a separate one. Um, we just have this I got in Utah at a thrift store. Foxes are kind of the theme of his room. Um, this changing table is lovely. You can just wipe it down. We have a wipe warmer, his little diaper station, his little camera. Um, right down here, I have all of his books which I'm pretty sure almost all of them are from Goodwill. I have his Love Every toy set. So I think I had mentioned earlier, like the subscription box. So this is his five to six month toys. Uh, it just came with these four and then the little uh, bell socks that he has and the tissue box, which he's currently on the mat with. I have all of his clothes in the first drawer some blankets and things in the second drawer and then diapers and stuff in the third like i said it's not organized closet wise i have all of his cold like sweatsuits diapers um his old mat that's broken his laundry hamper we have our hobby lobby decor that i love all of that was under 14.99 um which i'll show you more in a second we had the baby we have a very unorganized breastfeeding or pumping station. My chair that I got from uh, Zion National Park. We took a trip down to get this chair and then went to the park after. Um, the Baby Letta Leader or something chair is on Crate and Barrel has it. A few sites have it. Um, but it's all like electrical and um, reclines. It's lovely. I have my old coffee table that's going to turn into when he's older, like a little PlayStation. And then I have his crib. I think you guys saw me freaking out because of the mattress having like an area that was um, chewed open by the cat. I did find a fully enclosed zipper uh, mattress pad protector that we use. I did not have to get rid of it, which is lovely. It's convertible, so it turns into a full-size bed when he's older. And a toddler bed and blah, blah, blah. Again, foxes. And then lastly, my little wall of decor of Hobby Lobby. So cute. Fox number one. Um, mountains to remind us of Utah where he was born. And then my friend made this super adorable mobile. It is just all like ombre wood. And it's so cute. Um, some of the things are like slowly falling off. So I have Gorilla Glue, but for some reason that's not working. So I need to figure something else out. If you have suggestions, let me know. I wish I could just staple it, but that would not look good. <laughs> um, and yeah, that is the room. That's his room tour. I hope you love it. This is literally my favorite room in the whole house. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And other than that, Baby, love you so much. Bye. Don't need too much. Just your simple love and it's